Hey guys, it's Ayushi from Edureka and today I'm going to tell you the top 10 reasons to learn Python. Now there are n number of programming languages in the market and in today's video I'm going to tell you why Python is the best among all of them and why you should actually go for it. So get ready to fall in love with Python. Now let us start from the 10th point as to why you should learn this language. So at number 10 we have Python which is extremely simple and easy to learn. So Python is easy to read, easy to learn since it closely resembles your English language. It is a very powerful language and it takes absolutely no skills to learn Python. So Python is free and open source. It is a high level language where one does not need to bother about low level. You can simply write your code in English and Python will in turn convert it into low level details. Also Python is an interpreted language where machine reads and interprets the code wherein all the errors are checked during the runtime. Now Python has a large community. So if you have any doubt or any technical issue, you can seek help from thousands of Python community members on forums, Twitter, Facebook, QA sites, pretty much everywhere. Now, if you compare Python with any other programming language such as C, C, be it's Java, PHP, or anything, so Python has outshined among all its peers. Now, if you see Python, you don't have to deal with complex syntax. For example, if you want to print hello world, you have to write these three lines in Java, whereas in Python, just one line is sufficient to print hello world. It's that simple, guys. So the tenth reason lies in the simplicity of the code, which makes the best suit for beginners. Now let us go to our next point that is, it is portable and extensible. So by portability of Python, I mean Python is supported by the most platforms present in the industry today. It could be a Windows platform, it could be Macintosh, as well as your PlayStation supports Python. Now let me talk about the extensibility of Python. So in Python you can completely integrate your Java as well as .NET components and even if you wish you can also invoke C and C++ libraries as well. Therefore you can perform cross language operations with Python. So with this Python is extremely extensible with most of the programming languages. Now at 8 point which is quite the most popular reason to choose Python is web development. So web programming with Python provides a lot of choices as Python has an array of frameworks for developing website. Now the most popular frameworks available in Python are Django, Flask, Pylons and Web2Py. Now Django and in fact all other frameworks are written in Python and it is the core reason which makes the code a lot faster and stable. Then there is Flask which is another Python framework but it is tiny and it is majorly built for customizability. Guys, once you start using these framework, you will never look back to PHP or any other programming language. Now with Python, you can also do scraping, which is nothing but fetching details from any other website and storing it in your local system. You will also be impressed as many websites such as Instagram, Bitbucket, Pinterest are built on these frameworks only. Therefore, Python is majorly used in the web development. Next at seventh point, we have artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is the next huge development in the tech world. Now when it is combined with libraries such as scikit-learn, Python has the ability to do complex calculation with just a single statement. Furthermore, libraries such as Keras and TensorFlow bring machine learning functionality into the mix. Now with artificial intelligence, you can actually make a machine mimic the human brain, which has the power to think, analyze and make decisions on it. Also, we have libraries such as OpenCV that helps in image recognition such as computer vision. You can detect a face or a color. And apart from image recognition, you can also detect a character or a handwriting as well. And everything is available in Python. So all this is a part of AI and machine learning. So artificial intelligence is the broader concept of machines being able to carry out tasks in a way that we consider smart. And hence, you can also boost up the overall productivity of the company by saving their time and money. And all this can be achieved using Python. So next on my list is computer graphics. So Python is largely used in small, large, online or offline projects. It is used to build GUI which stands for graphical user interface. It is also used for desktop application. And then we have game development. So tkinter is the standard GUI library for Python. So Python when combined with tkinter, it provides a fast and easy way to create GUI application. Then we have Jython which provides Python scripts seamless access to Java. Then also we have WX Python which is an open source Python interface for Windows. Next, I've already told you that it is used in game development. So in Python, we can simply write the logic of the game. Now, it uses a module called as Pygame and these Pygame applications can run on Android devices as well. Isn't it cool guys? You can do almost everything with Python. Then on number five, I have testing frameworks. 
So Python is great for validating ideas or products for established companies. Now creating a software is not an easy task as it contains many processes starting from its design, its code and the test cases and software testing is undoubtedly the most important process of the software life cycle. It is also the challenging task for a software tester to choose the best programming language for automation testing and Python is the best solution for this problem. So it has many built in testing frameworks that covers debugging and fastest workflows. Now there are a lot of tools and modules to make the things more easier such as selenium which is a popular automation tool and then we have splinter. So it supports testing with cross platform and cross browser with frameworks such as PyTest and Robert framework. Now it has many great software testing supports and tools available in it which helps a tester to complete its work in less time and much easier way. So software testing is indeed a tedious task and Python is the booster for it. So every tester should definitely go for it. Next on fourth number I have big data. So Python handle a lot of hassles of data. It supports parallel computing where you can use Python for Hadoop as well. So in Python we have a library called as PyDo where you can write a map reduce program in Python and process data which is present in the HDFS cluster. Now there are many other libraries such as Dask and PySpark for big data processing. So I'm just giving you a general overview that you can use Python in order to process big data. Next on third number I have automation. So many people only knows that Python is a programming language but Python can also be used as a scripting language. So in scripting the code is written in the form of scripts and it gets executed. So machine basically runs and interprets the code whereas all your error checking is done during runtime and once this code is checked it can be used several times. So the important difference between a scripted language and a compiled language is that you don't have to worry about running a compiler ahead of time. Python technically is compiled at runtime that is the compiling happens when you run the program. So by automation you can automate certain tasks in a program. You can actually open a browser and post a Facebook status. So this is how automation plays a major role in Python. Next and second number I have data science. So Python is the leading language for many data scientists. Now for years academic scholars and private researchers were using the MATLAB language for scientific research. Now that all started to change with the release of Python numerical engines such as NumPy and Pandas. Python also deals with the tabular matrix as well as statistical data and it also visualizes it with popular libraries such as matplotlib and cbond. So imagine it guys you have large amount of data let's say terabytes or petabytes of data and using Python you can easily gain insights out of it. So this is how Python is majorly used in the data science domain. Next coming to last but not the least is Python's popularity and high salary. It's all well guys and all the features look pretty interesting but what about the pay. So Python engineers have some of the highest salary in the industry. So the average Python developer salary in the United States is approximately $116,028 per year. And if you see the trend Python is still there and has a strong spike in popularity over the last one year. Next there are many big players in the industry who have been using Python from quite a long time. Now here is Google who is actually using Python for web searches. Then we have YouTube which is largely written in Python and many other companies such as Instagram, NASA, Dropbox, Facebook and many more. So I have just listed a few companies but a lot of companies uses Python. So by this we come to an end of this video on a personal note guys Python is ideal and it is completely capable of doing the job. So if you're looking for an online structured training on Python you can let us know in the comment section and we will reply you back with the detailed course content. It's totally worth the effort guys so don't just learn it master it with Edureka. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!